wait, this is dedicated to all the other YouTube videos who waste your time, confuse your head with nonsense. We're going to build totally from scratch a one-page site with div tags done my way, the right way, the correct way, the genius way. So here we get started. Okay, we have no content on the page. We're just going to create some div tags with appropriate HTML tags. So let's get started here. We're going to come over here, make a rule. We're going to make a rule for the asterisk tag. The asterisk tag is the first tag that you go on the site. It's simply the universal tag. This is going to set all the other tags to zero. We're going to go to the box category, set this to zero, zero. That's our first tag. Now we're going to set the body tag rule. We're going to select, we're going to select the tag, select the tag, bottom left hand corner. Come over here, make a rule, make a rule for body. Down here to compound and say body, body is going to be, let's make body be aerial, 18 pixels. Okay, now we're going to set the paragraph tag. So go to tag and P for paragraph. P for paragraph. Now, the reason we're setting a paragraph tag because the asterisk tag I read at the space between paragraphs. We're going to put space back inside of our paragraphs by doing 1.7 M's. And M is equal to the height of the letter M. Okay, make a change, save a change. Now we're going to do a header tag. Let's do a header tag by saying tag H1. Let's make our header tag be 22 pixels. Let's make our header tag be uppercase. Let's make our header tag be purple. Okay. Now, child's play. Simple, simple, simple. Now we're going to build an entire site with div tags. This is how we do it. We're going to name the div tags. The first div tag on top is where the site now, I'm sorry, is the branding tag. It's the logo catchphrase that goes inside the branding tag. So we're going to type B-R-A-N-D-I-N-G space. Branding tag is going to be followed by the nav tag. So we're going to type in site nav, S-I-T-E, capital N-A-V, camel case. This way you can see these two separate words. Site nav is going to be followed by news bar. So we're going to type in N-E-W-S-B-A-R. Now, these are going to be div tags, but these are the IDs for those div tags. These are simply going to be D-I-V tags, H-M-L, D-I-V tags. But these are going to be their names, branding, site, yeah, news bar. News, go, news bar is going to be followed by main content, C-O-N-T-E-N-T. -E and that's going to be followed by footer. Now, understand exactly how I'm doing this. I'm typing in the word space. Type in the word space. Type in the word space. If you don't follow this technique, it's going to screw it up. Don't put paragraph returns in here. So this content, this content goes inside the body tag. Body tag, select the body tag. In order to affect the body tag, I need to select the body tag. I come up here to insert div tag. We're going to insert a div tag called wrapper, W-R-A-P-P-E-R. Now, wrapper, select the tag, bottom left, select the tag, and come over here, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Wrapper is going to be, box width is going to be 900 pixels wide. 900 pixels wide by 650 pixels. Because we have, because right now we don't have any content but in here. I just want to share a concept with you. 900 pixels by 650 pixels wide. We're going to line this to the right automatically and to the left automatically. We hit OK. Now, we also, also would like to here, okay, we also want to put a border on here. So we're going to say box, I'm sorry, border, border, Solid one pixel. So there's a border. Now, rest of the div text. Simple, simple, simple. No coding, no copying. I'm sorry, no coding, no craziness. Just straightforward. This is how to do it. This is how to do it. Any site can be built exactly this way. Any site. Five page site, a 10,000 page site. So I simply, what's in my div tag? It's branding. So I don't want to retype the word. Double click, copy, come up here to insert div tag. What's its name? Branding. Paste. How simple is that? Double click site. Copy. Command C. What's the name of the tag? Site nav. Paste. 
return, double click news bar, copy, what's the name of the tag, paste, return, double click, make content, copy, come up here to insert div tag, what's the name of the tag, paste, return, you get the bit, copy, footer, come up here, what's the name of the tag, paste, return, how simple is that, now I have my div tags, I have my div tags. All Dreamweaver does is write code. What Dreamweaver does is write code. It wrote the pure code for us right there. Simple, simple, simple. Now I select the tag. Select the tag. Select the tag. Make a rule. Select the tag for the rule. I don't want to do wrapper branding. I just want to do branding. Branding is going to be box height. The width is the same as the wrapper tag. We're going to make this 150 pixels. We're going to put in 20 pixels of padding. This is no longer 150 pixels. This is 150 plus 20 and 20. I don't want it to be 150 plus 20 and 20. I don't want it to be 190 pixels high. I want it to be 150. So I minus 40. Minus 40. Genius. Brilliant. Now, just because we can, we're going to give this some kind of background so you can visually see what we're doing. Okay. There's the branding tag. How simple is that? Site nav. Site nav. Select the tag. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. Now, I want to make the height, I want to put nav in the center, horizontally center, top and bottom. I'm going to make the line height 45 pixels. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go to box category, and we're going to put in five pixels of padding. So five pixels of padding, because the line height was 45, so I need to minus from the height, I need to minus 10 pixels. Simple, simple, simple. Make a change, save a change. Make a change, save a change. News bar, select news bar. Now, pay close attention to our math here. Our site is 900 pixels wide. So news bar, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. Let Dreamweaver work for you. Think Dreamweaver, think Dreamweaver, let Dreamweaver do the work for you. Forget the code, forget the nonsense, just let the software work for you instead of the software working you, okay? Box width, box width 150 pixels wide. Box width 150 pixels wide with 15 pixels of padding, okay? 15 pixels of padding, the height's gonna be the height of the fabric tag, which was 650. So it's 650 minus the branding tag, which is 150. That loses with this. 15, 15 is 30. So minus, minus 30. Height, minus 30. Float this bad boy to the left. Okay, floating to the left. Content goes to the right. Floating to the left. Content goes to the right. Main content. Main content. Select the tag. Make a rule. Select the tag. Make a rule. So I go to here. Hit OK. I go to the box category. The same thing we did a second ago. So what's the width going to be? The width's going to be the width of the wrapper tag minus the news bar tag, which is 150. That's our starting point. What's the height going to be? The height's going to be the height of the site, which is 650, minus the branding tag, which is 150. We're going to put in 35 pixels of padding. 35 times 35 is 70. Width is left and right. Top is height. So I simply minus 70 and minus 70. Fourth grade math class, guys. Fourth grade math class, addition of old numbers. You can't put a nine foot table inside of a foot room. Either wrapper gets bigger or a content gets smaller. We float this to the left. Simple, simple, simple. We're on a roll here. Okay, now we have site nav news bar. Now we want the footer to be at the bottom. Now, what we want to have happen here is footer needs to be at the bottom but footer needs to clear the float. Float clear, so we're gonna say his footer. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. Let's make footer's line height 20 pixels high. Let's make footer's width, I'm sorry, footer's color white, because we're gonna make the background color orange. Let's make this orange color. We want to vertically align it to the center and horizontally align it to the center. Horizontally line to the center. Here, we want to make the typeface slightly smaller. So make this nine pixels, okay? 
Now, based on these choices, these are my choices. This is my dialog box choice for a footer. Footer needs to clear both left foot. In this particular case, I have left foot, but if you have left and right foot, you need to clear both because this is why footer needs to clear both because footer needs to see footer needs to see that these divs are here. These divs have floats, so the float can't be seen. So if I publish the page, if I publish the page right now, there's my content. There's brand tag, site nav, news bar, and content, footers at the bottom. Now, what I want to have happen, very important step here, I don't want wrapper tag to have a height. So I'm going to double click wrapper tag, come to the box section, and give it no height. Give it no height. So there you have it. Simple, simple, simple. Div tags in position. Now I can fill it in with content, get paid, be happy, go to the Yankees opening day on Friday, and live life large. Have a good day, carpe diem. This is how to create div tags. Be simple, simple, simple. Name them first across the page. Just type space, type space, type space. Double click, double click, wrap the tag. Give it a name, double click, wrap the tag, give it a name. Talk to you soon. Like me on Facebook. Simple, simple, simple. Keep it simple. It's sophisticated in its simplicity. Enjoy the day.